Hi, I'm Matt, and this is on HockeyReviews.ca. This is my Sniper Skin Sniper Blade Wrap. So full disclosure, I bought the original blue wrap from Sniper Skin, and they sent me this Sniper Wrap, and uh, as well as the top grip, which I haven't used yet, for free to do a review on. And since I installed the original wrap incorrectly, I'm already on this one. So check out the photos below for the cracks it had because I cut it afterwards and installed it wrong. But since I've used this about six times and I'm satisfied with my opinion on it, uh, it did get stepped on the very first time out and it's held up since then because it didn't go all the way through but it did take part out right there but it was fine in terms of that. Um, so the reason this review happened so fast is I actually had an opportunity to try out Sorry, another one of these sticks right next to this stick when I went to Mod Squad Summer Jam. Thankfully, Warrior was there and it had a stick in my flex and so I could test it out. That other stick was taped normally with normal hockey tape and this one was obviously with this tape. Now, I was having some issues earlier and I, I felt my shot was getting worse and I was scared that the stick was breaking down. In the past, I had Warriors that after so many games, they'd get soft and you'd lose the real kick in the shot, the quick release from the stick. So I was scared it was happening with this stick. So I went out with the previous wrap I had uh, for a two hour session of just shooting and I put actual hockey tape on the bottom of it and I thought my shots were getting better. Once it would wear off, I'd take it off and my shots would go down in quality again. And consistency is, was the big thing as well. So I, I thought that this was all just be in my head and something was going on. So I really wanted to do more testing on it before I committed to my opinions. And I did. Because I had the two sticks right next to each other side by side, I'm really confident in how I feel about this product. And it is has been really, really decreasing my shot performance when it's been on which might sound pretty hard to believe that something like this on the blade could do it. But what I think is happening is the blade itself is at the bottom is too slippery. And so when I go to load up, uh, load up my, the stick for a shot, it actually just slides on the ice and gets out of position. And the actual weight transfer throughout the stick doesn't actually translate. And the kick is kind of just flubbing it on the ice. Um, I find this, I found this stick always to be pretty easy to take slap shots with. The majority of them went actually too high, but they always release fast and pretty hard. Um, but with this, I was having a hard time keeping it, like actually raising it halfway up the net when this blade was on. It was worse with the other, the original blade, because it was longer. And I feel this one is, doesn't have as much effect, and it's a little bit shorter. As you can see, the blades is less covered here, and as well as the the toe doesn't really do much, but the blade is less covered. Um, so normally when I take this sh a slap shot with this stick from the blue line, I have to really work on keeping it below the crossbar. With this blade, like I said, I was having a hard time keeping it above halfway the net. It was always really on the ice and felt like a flub. Now the big thing that made me realize and made me confident in my opinion is when I use the stick with the tape, I was standing on the boards and take, I took five shots each for snap, uh, like snapshots, and then five shots each for slap shots. With the blade, with the normal tape, my slap shots were all coming off really consistent and hard. And with this one, one in five was act, felt actually good. And the other big thing that really made me like ditch this stick, where I didn't want to use it the rest of the ice time at the Mod Squad event because I was sick of missing the net was anytime I'd come down the wing and shoot while, while moving because you don't really have the ability to really line up everything and you're like shooting off balance or on your wrong foot or just shooting while moving. The majority of my shots come off the toe and flub and like and whiff basically to, to the right. So I'd be going down just trying to take a shot right at the goalie's chest and I'm missing that by 10 feet to the right. Now... You could say I'm a horrible hockey player and I'm not the best hockey player, but the difference between me using a taped version and this version was me not missing the net with the tape version. There's 
it's one thing for me not to pick the corners every time, which I understand because I'm not a sniper, but I usually hit the net or I come close to it. With the tape, every time I'd go down on that shot on the wing, I'd take a shot, I'd either hit the net or come really close to where I was aiming. I might miss the net by like a foot, but I was aiming top corner, like short side. With this, me just trying to hit the goalie's chest made me whiff it about 10 feet wide the majority of the time. I would get the odd shot off that was okay and almost on target, but it never felt like it really released like it should. This stick, the Covert QRL, really, really releases fast and is one of the best shooting sticks I've ever used. If not the best, and I wasn't feeling that at all with this grip on there. So like because of that, I'm going to cut it off now, even though it still has life left, because I'm honestly just sick of not performing the way I should. And I was getting angry at myself for things that I think are out of my control with this. Uh, I actually use a different stick. I went than this, than my own during that event because I was, I used this one originally because I like the feel of it and I'm used to it, but I missed too wide on shots that I went for. I would just want tips. I didn't shoot them that hard. I shot them low and I just tried to get someone in front of the net to tip while I was playing defense and I completely whiffed them to the right both times. And so I just, I shelved it for the rest of the game. So yeah, the shooting, like it does affect stick handling a bit. I found uh, pucks would run off my stick a bit more with this than with normal tape. Like there's not really, it doesn't feel like there's as much grip here, but the slipperiness of the bottom does help for actually dragging your stick along ice, especially when it gets beat up. I found that this was easier than tape. I did actually find the tape, a tape stick to be kind of caught up on the ice a bit more and I would mishandle the puck because my stick was behind where I thought it was going to be after using this. So that's a benefit in terms of actually stick handling, but yeah, the passing, you can't really feel it. It doesn't totally deaden the puck. It doesn't, it doesn't really deaden the puck at all. It doesn't feel like tape at all either. You definitely know there's something on there, but it's, it's not a bad or a negative feel, but because my shooting was so bad with this, there's no way I can recommend it. Um, Check out the written review for more comments on this and for the old pictures as well. Sorry, this video is pretty boring. I'll probably in overlay some uh, just pictures of the original blade and what happened to it. But yeah, there's no way I can recommend the stick, the stick wrap. Uh, I would definitely stay away from the sniper skin wraps. It's greatly reducing my performance on a really good stick and... Yeah, there's just no way, there's no way I could recommend this product. I like the recyclability idea in terms of reusing products instead of just throwing it out, like you throw out tape. But uh, yeah, this is definitely not, not worth the purchase. $15 is a little excessive in my opinion. And then uh, $20 of shipping is a lot for a tape replacement. So I would just use normal hockey tape uh, stay away from this in my opinion my experiences were very bad and I could not recommend this to anyone hopefully the grip will be different but that's it uh, and finally I hate to do this but I realize that subscribers and followers are important for me to get more equipment to review uh, please follow me on twitter at matt save one I'll post the little pictures on the screen and in the description instagram matt save one and check out hockeyreviews.ca as well and subscribe to me on youtube and that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. So since there isn't uh, an actual video of someone cutting this off, and I'm actually happy to cut it off, since I get to my performance back in my stick, here's me cutting off the sniper skin. Let's see if I can get this a little better. It's actually not as easy as you'd think, unless it already has like a big chip in it, like the original. My original one did, because I can just peel it off. But this you kind of got to get, like as you can see, you got to get under your blade, which isn't the greatest thing ever. There we go. Let's just make sure. Yeah, see, I'm kind of like scratching my stick by doing this. So I'll just try to peel it the rest of the way. Instead, I killed my camera. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna have to move. <laughs> Yeah, see, I scratched my stick just trying to get this thing off. Which I guess isn't the product's fault, but it's my fault. Sorry. Now, I'm sure they could come up with a video and show you doing this in a much easier fashion. But perhaps my scissors aren't sharp enough which they aren't. It's a little easier once you get to the holes because you have less material to go through. Even then, it's not really easy. There we go. Free at last.